There is a rumor linking Dalvin Cook to the New York Jets. I don't know if I buy this one. What's going on, guys? Matt O'Leary back with another video. I wanted to mention that you can follow on socials. And also, please don't forget to check out the Talking Jets channel. We're doing all our content over there. It's not on Jets Talk 24-7 anymore, but it's still me. Ryan Greenbean, we're doing content on the Talking Jets channel, so please make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. So the fantasy football brand Big Dogs Gotta Eat had shared this video that has to do with uh, Dalvin Cook's agent saying where Dalvin may end up. Yeah, so what? Nikki Source is out here breaking news. Dalvin Cook's either going to Buffalo or the New York Jets. I know he's still technically on Minnesota. Only reason he's still there is because both trading him and cutting him is more beneficial to Minnesota post june 1st okay he'll be off minnesota within the next week two weeks and he will land in either buffalo or new york this is a text that i actually got 20 minutes ago dalvin cook is going to buffalo or the jets my co-worker next to me is friends with dalvin cook's agent and he just texted him that i will give you updates as we are updated yeah first breaking don't let anybody else say they told you first because we fucking did it we did it now again i want to say take this with a grain of salt this is the only place where I've seen this, but Dalvin Cook getting cut is not uh, an uncommon thought. It does make sense for them to cut him after June 1, which we are now past June 1st, because they would save $9 million waiting to do it post June 1, as opposed to pre June 1. If he was to get cut, which again, I think that that's a real possibility. I don't know if the Jets are in on it. And that's not to say that I would be 100% against it. I think adding as much talent as humanly possible is uh, an okay thing. Uh, and there were linked, although that was put to bed kind of quickly, to Ezekiel Elliott. But the guy's been productive even last year in what wasn't one of his best seasons. 1,100 yards, almost 1,200 actually. 1,173 yards, 8 touchdowns, 4.4 yards per attempt on 264 carries. Now, he would not be the number one running back if he came here, at least maybe not after the first few weeks. It depends on when Brees Hall comes back from injury and looks like Brees Hall of old. Um, I don't necessarily think this is a, a necessity. And again, I think it would be surprising if he ended up with the Jets. The Bills link makes a lot of sense. His brother is there. Uh, the Bills, they, if they really struggle trying to get their run game going. I don't know if that's... A, a scheme thing or, or what's going on there, but they uh, they have a hard time establishing the run. But the, unfortunately, the place where I think Dalvin Cook would be an absolute home run, Miami. I think that would be the place for Dalvin. I, I think if there was ever a spot or a team that was looking for that you know stud running back to hit the market, I, I think Dalvin Cook would be tremendous in Miami. Obviously, I'm as a division rival. I hope that he doesn't go there because I still think he's a good player. Yes, he's 28 years old, but. You know, I think he has a couple a couple more good years left in the tank. And for a team that's trying to win now, uh, a year or two, a year or two of Dalvin Cook at at what would be a lower price point? I don't think you know he already got paid. He got his, um, and we've unfortunately seen it with running backs. They they don't last very long. So you get you cash in on that one big contract. It's probably likely over, and then you know signed for a little bit uh, on the lesser side but uh, the connection to the New York Jets while yes there are some question marks after Brees Hall I think the Jets and what they've said about the wide receiver room I think rings true about the running back room as well yes Michael Carter really struggled last year but in uh in his rookie season I thought he looked good in a limited role and I think he bounces he's a bounce back candidate this year uh, Bam Knight is someone else who in small samples looked pretty good uh, down the stretch did not look very good but to be fair the offensive line was absolutely cooked by that point and they just drafted Izzy Abanaconda someone who's you know who could add a ton of speed to that backfield so uh, would they add another running back and potentially move on from one of those three guys I don't know I don't know how much I buy that but Anyway, just wanted to share, again, I don't really put much stock into this rumor, but saw it going around, is making the rounds on TikTok, so figured I'd at least talk about it and see what you guys think. Sound off in the comments below with your thoughts. I am Matt O'Leary. I'll catch you next time.